morning everyone, it's an extra early start to the day here from our lodge here in the Amazon rainforest, still waking up. So we just got up at 4.45 a.m. and that's because we're about to do a sunrise tour on a boat and uh, the sunrise here is super early, I think it's like 5.30 or maybe even a bit earlier so yeah that's why we got up this early and we're just about to head out now to get into the boat. Where's the pet frog, Carol? Mm. Oh, up there. Mm. Yeah, we got a frog on. Nice and awake. Huh? Are you awake? Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Sunset today, right? No. <laughs> Sunrise. Sunrise, yeah. <laughs> it's all misty and cloudy. Still looks pretty cool with the, the morning mist though. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna swim? Yeah. Swim to the bed. You ready to sleep? Yeah. No sleep in the day, got a busy day. Yeah, I know. For me, this is one of the best parts about being here in the Amazon rainforest, just hearing all the sounds all the time. I could just stand here for hours listening to it. So we're gonna head out now to do a nature's trail. It's gonna be like a three hour hike, I think. And one thing we haven't mentioned so far is the clothes that we brought. So for this trail, we need a dress like this. So yeah, they want you to cover all your body parts. Yeah, I have a, a raincoat that I'm gonna put on and we had to buy these shoes. And like waterproof hiking yeah, boots. Waterproof boots. There are people with uh, just like uh, normal sneakers, but I think this one is better because uh, it can rain at any time. Yeah, so I just have this like long sleeve, kind of like uh, for sports, I guess, kind of light. So it'll be good in the humidity. And then I also got this, uh, these pair of boots. And then I think on the trail they say just to tuck your pants into your socks. Mainly just to keep the creepy crawlies out, the insects, yeah, the ants, and the spiders. spiders. Yeah, you don't want to get bitten out here. Yeah. <laughs> and just to be extra safe as well, we obviously brought some insect repellent. So even though I'm covering all my limbs, I'm probably still gonna pass it anyway, just to make sure. What's that? A flashlight? Yeah. Yeah, we'll need that later on. <laughs> So Carol's just warming up for the trail. Yeah. Getting those muscles working. <laughs> 
This is gonna be the start of our trail. Has a cool entrance on it. Yeah. Through this like grass. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Avoid the snakes. Mm -hmm. Mind your step. Mind your step, yeah. So sejam bem-vindo pessoal. Aqui tá bom. Vamos fazer uma trilha. É suave, tá bom? Ela não vai ser tão é, complicada. Vai ser no telinha. É, a gente vai caminhar em círculo. Aí tem que ter cuidado onde vocês pisam. Que pode ter cobra, pode ter esse tipo de, de animais. Sapo de folha não tem problema, mas tem cogumelos. Tem outro tipo de, de folha, de palhas que vocês não podem mexer por causa de que elas machucam, tá bom? Mas então vamos fazer essa trilha com emoção, tá bom? Com alegria e sempre de olho. Vocês cuidam de mim, eu cuido de vocês, tá legal? Sim. Pessoal, essa daqui é uma palmeira. Com essas, essas palhas daqui, a gente pode fazer sombra, pode fazer até um, um telhado. Um, são campamentos do exército, tem muitos. Então, o que eles fazem com essa, que é mais rápido, mas tem pouca duração. Essa outra daqui, parece essa, né? Caramba! Ah. Tá <risos> O telhado da casa. Né? Essa daqui é a prova de água. Os nativos antes, eles levavam daqui para Manaus, mas agora não pode, é proibido levar esse tipo de palha para Manaus. Só o nativo daqui pode utilizar. Se vocês se acham na selva e tem, não tem nada de fogo, e vocês têm aquela inteligência de fazer um fogo primitivo, vocês podem fazer aqui. Esse pó aqui, ele tem 10% de inflamável. É um álcool que, que tem essa planta, né? Essa palmeira. Você pode começar um fogo primitivo com uma, uma quantidade maior, né? É só vai começar só um, um fogo pequenininho. Aí daí você alimenta o fogo e pode dar um fogo legal, né? Qual o nome desse leite? É Solba. Solba. Bora aqui, Felipe. Aqui. Amanhã. Uhum. Tree aqui. milk. Tá bom? Tá bom? Mild, isn't it? Yeah. The guy said it's good então, for agora eu vou stomach ela, problems. Pessoal. Oh, yeah. It's like gooey, the milk. Yeah, it's really like a goo. Yeah. Super glue. Super glue. Inside of us. <laughs> talking about the termites. Yeah. Oh, mosquito. 
Você também? Bom, aqui tudo bem. So what is this? Uh, I don't know. But uh, if you're pregnant, you can't have this because you're gonna lose your baby. Yeah, apparently it's like super strong. You just chew it, right? Of what? Like a like a medicine. Oh, yeah? So we removed that from this tree here. That's what we ate. This like bark. So we said that people eat that or chew that for uh, malaria when they get malaria here. Okay. Coco de babassu. Larva de babassu. Oh, coisa fofa. Vai. Vai lá. Hum, delícia. É gosto de coco. Ah, mano, na boa. Qual é o animal mais perigoso da, da selva para, para a gente? Onça. Onça. Porco de mato. Porco de mato? Jungle pig. Jungle pig? É. Mas é um porco mesmo? É um porco com dente afiado. Mas o que? Ele mata o humano? Se você bate um deles, ele vai te perseguir até você morrer, não, morrer ou, 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 ou escapar dele. Cara, vingança. Você sobe em uma árvore e ele fica aqui aguardando. Sério? Até que você não, ba... não desce, ele não vai. Cara, pode ficar aqui. Aqui temos essa castanheira aqui. Ela tem mais ou menos uns 30, 40 metros de altura. Esse tipo de madeira no Pará, por enquanto, eles têm uma luta porque ele disse que essa madeira é muito legal para fazer caça, para fazer uma, é, mesa, cadeiras. Então, eles estão desmatando tá, esse tipo de árvore, tá bom? So I think we've done a lot of like nature trails, but this is definitely by far the most wild. Yeah, it's another, another level. It's like really thick jungle and everything so gigantic. And there are so many different species of everything. And it's cool that we are learning about things. It's not just us walking around. So it's, like usual. Yeah, so it's nice and we're learning a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah, just look at this, man. Like this is how it is everywhere. So wild. So, so many plants and trees, it's crazy. So Anderson, the guy just told us that this is an acai tree, which me and Carol love, acai. So the berries will be at the top somewhere. And didn't he say you can use the root for like tea? Yeah, if you make tea with the root, it's good for anemia. Anemia. Mm -hmm. Carol, we're gonna have to ask him to give you something because Allergy. Look at the size of oh that mosquito. <laughs> yeah, I have allergy. <laughs> yeah, so the guide provides so much information, so many interesting things about the medicines that you can use, like you saw in this video. Different foods that they ate, the, the lava just now. What's that, Carol? Uh, they use this to make ropes. Oh, rope. Yeah. Why is it like uh, durable? A, yeah, from a tree, but yeah, it's very strong. Still, I've never seen a mosquito bite like that, Carol. Because I, I have an allergic reaction to, to mosquitoes. It yeah. okay. can get very big. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Too crazy if I say that I want to see a snake. <laughs> well, uh, last night when we did the the crocodile thing, the caiman crocodile, whatever you call them, mm -hmm. there was apparently like a gigantic a snake. Yeah, yeah, but we didn't see. It. No. The guy told us about it. Yeah, the guy saw it, and the people at the front of the boat saw yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. I just want to see a small one, not a small one. one. No, I want to see some giant anaconda. <laughs> so the guy got uh, took this. Leaf. leaf from the tree and made this like a plate or bowl, I don't know, 
Yeah, and you didn't you say that's gonna be our bowl today, our yeah, plate? Yeah, and uh, and this thing is like a spike from another tree. Yeah, so he's folded it somehow, mm -hmm. and then put the spike through to keep it secure. <laughs> that's cool. Black mushroom. Uh, so this was where he got the spikes from. Look at this plant here. Loads of spikes. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Carol, I just made this for you. Okay, you made it, uh huh. <laughs> yep, and you just broke it. Thank you. <laughs> so, check this out here. This is a huge ant nest. You can see like millions of ants all over. So, the guy said that people um, put their hands on the ant nest so that the ants crawl on you and then you rub it on your skin and it kind of makes you camouflage your scent so that animals can't smell uh, yeah, your human smell. Got back to the lodge just in time. Absolutely pouring it down right now. Like the second that we arrived. <laughs> yeah, expect this to possibly happen when you're here, but like the guy said, we're here in rain season, so that's why it's raining like every day. <laughs> At least we didn't get caught in it this time. Yeah, I think that's why you need uh, waterproof shoes because in the middle of rain like that, they're gonna be soaked. Yeah, if we were doing the trail right now. Yeah. Whoa, increased even more. Man, that is wild. So just like yesterday, gonna cool down in the Piranha River at the place that we're staying. So the tours here seem to all be the same. You like do something in the morning very early, right? Until 12, then you come back here for lunch. And then at 3 p.m. you go out again until uh, like sunset time. And there's actually a few of those river dolphins around here. Bocus, the pink dolphins. Just saw, just saw a bunch of them. Oh, he's there right now. <laughs> Maybe his fin will go up again. I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro but he just came up. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> That's so cool that they just swim around yeah, here. Yeah, it's like that every day. So if you just sit here, you're going to be uh, dolphin watching. Yeah, literally never seen uh, wildlife like this. No, no. crazy. I think I've never seen so many birds and so many animals. In my and so many life. dolphins. <laughs> and so many dolphins. Yeah, well, they're still going at it, swimming over there.
So that's the 1 p.m. boat leaving back there. So one of the groups are leaving. I think here there's only about three different groups at the same time, and there's usually one leaving every day, and then another group coming. So that'll be us tomorrow. But today we still have some more adventures in about two hours time at 3 p.m. We'll do the next adventure of the day. Right now, just relax first. <laughs> is our home for tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Jungle. <laughs> cool home. <laughs> Watermelon holder. <laughs> Watermelon holder. Yeah, so we're gonna be sleeping in the jungle tonight. Some camping. Not even sure what I'm carrying here on my shoulder. <laughs> but this is gonna be the spot somewhere around here. Whoa! <laughs> what the hell? Look at the size of this tree that fell. <laughs> That's crazy. I think we're gonna set up some hammocks or something. <laughs> can put our clothes on this thing off the ground. No animals can grab it, I don't know. <laughs> and then this is the outside area here. How cool is this spot? Not sure what this is, some kind of table. Looks like wax, oh, I guess from a fire. And then I think this is the barbecue area. And I think that's about it. That's the, the campground, so barbecue area, some sort of table, this bench here, and the sleeping area here, and some monster tree. So Anderson just told us that this tree fell only eight months ago. So after the campsite was already here. It's crazy how big it is though, it goes all the way down there. All right, time to make a hammock. <laughs> Rope Not the... make one, just put that in Make hammock. it from scratch. Yeah. <laughs> Put this on either side, try and work out what size what. <laughs> Alright, and then this side, I think he said to go around one. What? And then, Wait. go on the... Like this. Yeah. And pull down. Pull down. The swing test. <laughs> okay, it's strong enough. Now the mosquito net. Yeah, so he said to wear it. <laughs> like to, a dress. <laughs> to find the corners. Oh, where's the other? I got one corner here. Up there. Jungle right, here's, goes. Here's the other sleeve. <laughs> you look great. Ben, so you give me that corner. <laughs> the ghost. Happy Halloween. <laughs> one second. Okay. There. Okay. Alright, let me get this off. <laughs> I think I just pull it. So we did our net wrong because it wasn't touching the floor. So yeah, I had to redo it a few times. <laughs> a few times. 
Yeah, like three different times. Yeah. <laughs> no, my net was also inside out. Yeah, mine was easier. I did it once because I am better than Chris. Carol is from the jungle. <laughs> I'm from the jungle. And then just to have space in the net, you use put the, a stick. It's a big stick. A lot of space. Mm -hmm. Is there another stick around here? Yes. Yeah. Check if there, there are no ends. And put the stick. Finally. Done. And then I guess at night you just go in here. Ah, oh, it's gonna be an interesting night. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to get used to it. <laughs> Nossos pratos. Comida? Nossos pratos. Ah, o prato. E a comida também daqui a pouco. Ah, o prato vai ser a folha, né? Essa folha? Uhum. Um prato. Vai. Vamos coletar. Você vai fazer fogo. O que foi? O que? Tem um bicho aí? É, ele falou que tinha aqui. Ah, tinha aqui? Aqui, nesse negócio aqui. O que? O que? Cocô? Ah, ah tá. Yeah, so before we did a, a trail. Now there's no trail here, really. Just going through the jungle. <laughs> Caraca. Não. Isso é pra quê? Cura pra quê? Vamos fazer um decorativo. Decorativo, tá bom? Decorativo. Você <risos> quer? Segurar mais no meio aí. Ah tá, peraí. Segura aí, peraí. Aqui? Três. Isso, segura no meio aí. Sim. Vamos ver, peraí. Ah tá. Vai gringo. Vai. Segurando a câmera, mas. Alright, I gotta Vai. stay holding, Vai. holding this thing then. Peraí. This mega leaf. Ah, pra tu tá fácil. Sim. <risos> Quer que segure junto com você? Não, tá tranquilo. Aí eu vou ver tu lá. É o quê? Sai lá. E aí, pegou tudo? É, né? Dos pratos. Tá. Pra esquerda, né? Uhum. Caramba. E agora? Esquerda de novo? Esquerda de novo. Pra cá? Direita. Direita aqui? Esquerda. Uh. <risos> Direita. Isso é para o teto? Isso é para fazer o, o pano de mesa. Ah, ah que tá. <laughs> so you can climb this tree. The fallen tree. It, it's wide. Viu como eu tô vai? Kind of. Não botou alto, né? Let's see how the other side looks. Not coming? No. <laughs> yeah, so this is where all the branches are at. Man, this must have been quite the impact when this fell. 
the thud. Yeah, these days have already been some of the coolest travel days ever. An amazing experience. This is a Faro Fog. So this is the leaf that I carried out of the jungle, that's what they made, <laughs> looks really cool. So we're gonna go fishing now, it's only about 30 minutes until it gets pitch black and yeah we're gonna fish for some piranhas like yesterday but this time we need to get some big ones so that we can all eat. Check out the size of his knife, it's huge. <laughs> So the spot that we're going to is right near the camp, so we're not leaving them for that long. I think it's just around here somewhere. Hi Philip, can you Cinco. Cinco. Are you feeling it No. No? No? Things got dark really quick, unfortunately we weren't able to get any fish at all but it turns out they do have chicken here, so they don't have fish but mm. yeah we're not gonna starve so yeah. we're gonna cook the chicken now. Yeah, you had one mission. And failed. <laughs> and failed. <laughs> the girls had the mission to keep the fire going yeah, and it and worked. Yeah, it worked of course. <laughs> yeah, we failed. <laughs> so this is our food, rice, potato and eggs for me and rice, <laughs> rice, potatoes and chicken for Chris but he already yeah, ate, ate it. it already yeah. and we made our own uh, little bowls and the guy made a spoon. <laughs> Look <Yeah>. at that. <laughs> Eating it like this. Spider. What the pesadelo com isso? Qual o nome? É caranguejeira, tarântula. Ah, tarântula. Tarântula. Oh, oh, meu Deus. E o que que a tarântula faz? A tarântula. Oh. Meu Deus. Nossa, ela mexeu. Mexeu? Só de ver. Oh, man. Caraca. Oh. Oh. So we're going to bed now. I think it's around 9 p.m. I'm not sure. Lose track of time when it gets yeah. pitch black like this. So no, long. we're not going to bed. We're going to hammock. <laughs> yeah, we're going to the hammock with the tarantulas above us. Oh my God. <laughs> Can't do anything about that. So that's how we're going to sleep. Probably one of the most raw experiences, right, that we've ever done. Yeah, the most wild experience for sure. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's been really amazing. Didn't actually expect it to be like this raw, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's just been really cool, really authentic as well. And we do have one more day here tomorrow. So yeah, there'll still be more videos to come, but I think it'll be hard to beat this day. Mm. Yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, just drop a like as usual to support us. Subscribe to like to see more videos like this. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.